So recently, Blade HQ has been getting uh, a little crazy with the Desert Warrior knives. Uh, they have a Civivi Elementum in it. Um, and now several um, Fokker Kalashnikovs and some other knives and tools and things. They're really digging into the whole Desert Warrior thing. And I know some people find it a little tacky. Uh, but I work in a bakery, so the whole Desert Warrior thing to me is cool. Um, and when they announced this knife, I was very excited to get one, and I happened to get one. I think everybody's kind of um, lost the amount of interest that they did have in the Desert Warrior knives, so there you can actually get them now, whereas they sold out like immediately a few years ago, um, routinely. Uh, but anyway, in front of me here, I have a Desert Warrior uh, Boker Kalashnikov. They changed the box. It did used to come in just a plain black box, but now it comes in this very obviously Desert Warrior box covered in sprinkles. Uh, so let's open up this box here. This is the knife. It's a Boker Kalashnikov with a clip point blade. Just like my other Boker Kalashnikov. Move that box out of the way. Um, so I was excited when they announced the clip point blade. I do have another Boker Kalashnikov Dessert Warrior, but it is the mini one, which has like a two and a half inch blade, whereas this blade is like three and a quarter, something like that. Uh, so this is much more like full size pocket knife, like feels good in your hand, uh, size knife and everything. Uh, you can see there it's got D2 steel, uh, painted aluminum handle, uh, the pink frosting with the sprinkles on it there, uh, blue coated blade, which is the one thing that I'm kind of like, like why'd you do the blue coating? You could have went with something else, um, but you know, that's what they did. They did the blue blade, the blue pocket clip, and some other just kind of random colors thrown in too. It's a very colorful knife. I like the pink handle with the sprinkles. Um, and I like the Boker Kalashnikov knives, um, generally speaking, uh, because they're a really high value uh, automatic knife. Uh, and if you don't know, up until the beginning of 2023, uh, automatic knives have been illegal to carry in Pennsylvania. But in January of 2023, that all changed. So now I have, I think this is my third automatic knife because I have the mini Desert Warrior that I bought when it wasn't legal to carry in Pennsylvania. And then I bought the black Kalashnikov uh, once, it, once I found out that it was going to become legal to carry uh, automatic knife or switch blades in Pennsylvania. Um, and now I have this one. And I think those are my three automatic knives that I have. Um, I don't really carry automatic knives that much just because there's not really a need for it. I mean, if you press the button, it deploys like that fast. Whereas if you have a flipper or a um, thumb stud, it deploys just as fast. So, you know, it's a silly law to make automatic knives illegal in the first place. But, um, a lot of places still have that law in place. Um, but yeah, automatic knives are just neat, I think. And I think a lot of people think that they're just neat, um, which is why, you know, they've really taken a resurgence in the past few years uh, with OTFs and all sorts of other stuff like that. Um, knife appears to be made pretty well. The action on these Kalashnikov knives is always like one of their huge um, pluses to the knife because, you know, this is like a knife that's like $65, something like that. This one might have been a little bit more because it's the Blade HQ exclusive uh, Desert Warrior. Um, but generally speaking, you get these around like $55, $65, something like that for a Boker Kalashnikov. Um, and for what you pay for it, I think it's a really high value uh, automatic knife. 
Uh, and for somebody like me who's just, you know, doesn't really have a whole lot of experience in auto knives and doesn't really, you know, carry an automatic knife that much, it's one of those things where it's like, uh, I'm not going to spend, you know, $200 on some crazy automatic uh, because I don't care that much. Like, I'd rather spend that money on a cool uh, slip joint pocket knife or something. Um, although I have been looking at the Buck 112 autos, and that's becoming tempting for me. Um, but anyway, this is the clip point version of the Desert Warrior uh, Boker Kalashnikov. They also did a Tanto version. I don't like Tanto blades because they mean they look cool, but then you have to sharpen them, and that sucks. So I like a good, I like a good uh, edge that you can just sharpen, and you don't have to worry about sharpening two different edges and all that uh, crazy stuff. Um, but I like the Desert Warrior. I think it's a unique uh, thing. Definitely cool. Uh, this knife is certainly uh, really cool. And I am excited to carry it a little bit, which I'm thinking I'll carry this one more than I carried the mini one, which I don't think I carried it at all, uh, just because it was a little smaller than I thought it was going to be. Um, and this is about the perfect size for a knife like this, um, in my opinion, anyway. And I really like the clip blade on these Kalashnikovs. Um, the other blade's the dagger blade, which, I mean, it looks fine, but I really like a good pointy clip blade. Um, it's just uh, part of who I am as a person, I guess. Um, but yeah, knife looks good. Blade HQ did a good job on these. Boker did a good job on these. Um, I don't know what the 1855 stamped on the, or laser etched into the blade means, uh, but that's interesting. The Automat Kalashnikov 74 there. Uh, I don't know what distinct, distinctifies the different models of the Kalashnikov, um, but obviously these were named after the Russian rifle. This one's named after the AK-74, and I think there's one named after the AK-47, although this is more of an AK-47-shaped magazine, um, except for it's way too wide, uh, but that's besides the point. Uh, but anyway, cool, cool knife. Um, always cool to see uh, Lady HQ releasing more Desert Warriors. As far as I'm concerned, um, like I said, some people find it kind of tacky or you know, whatever word you want to use, but as somebody who works in a bakery, I really like these because uh, it's my job, pretty much, you know. So I really like to have a knife that kind of re represents that a little bit. It's just interesting for me. Uh, but anyway, this is the Blade HQ exclusive Boker Kalashnikov in the clip blade shape. A knife that I was very excited for and I am super happy with. Um, but anyway, it's going to be it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one and I hope you have a good day.